And someone who's no stranger to the program, who's been on before, is Charlene Pedro, HR consultant and a corporate trainer and former president of, of AFET, AFET yeah. yes? Yeah. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you. Glad to be here again. Early in the morning, but <laughs> I'm here. <laughs> I know it's hard to come out, especially after the holiday period and all years, New Year's. Happy, Happy New Year Happy to you. Year. Same Happy to you. Looking forward to 2020 to be an awesome year. It is, it is, right? It's the beginning of a new decade, and I know that some of you might have taken the time only as to really just reflect and think about what's your goals. Not like Carrie here who just <laughs> write it down. <laughs> it's right? It's goal until it's written down. Thank you <laughs> very much for telling Carrie. But he seems to have it worked out in his okay. head, he says. What but, works for you? But I, I still think, you know, writing it down makes a big difference. But what we're going to talk about this morning, even more than writing it down, you see how the, the table looks a bit... Uh, lots of stuff happening here this morning because we're going to create a vision board and to help us through that, of course, Charlene, you're going to tell us, first of all, what is a vision board? Well, a vision board is really, just as it says, it's putting your vision on a board. Right. It could be bristle board. It could be a flip chart paper. The idea is to have it before you so that you can look at it and mm -hmm. be reminded, this is what my goals are. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And you really have to try to craft your goals properly first. Because many times we all know that we fall off the bandwagon. By the time it's February, March, <laughs> we make our New Year's right. resolution. Yeah. But by February, March, it's gone. Yeah. And we don't even realize that we fell off the bandwagon. Yeah. The thing is to craft your goals that are value-based, something that means something to you so yeah. that you could keep going. Yeah. So the vision board helps us keep going. We make sure that we keep it in front of us right. so that we can see it and that we can remember, okay, so this is what I have to do. Yeah. Then create your action plan, your monthly, your weekly, your daily action plan. What are the right. behaviors? What yeah. are the habits you have to create yeah. to get this vision board going? So yeah. once you do it, like in a big space like that, you can actually take a photo of it and keep it digitally Absolutely. On your you can have it on, your, on right? your phone so yeah. that when you look at it, you know, and rather than looking at your... Your puppy, mm -hmm. you can see your goals <laughs> or your, your well, maybe in goals. addition to some people need the puppy picture. <laughs> I'm not a puppy person, but you know, some people need a little puppy picture, right? But you can have it as well. Definitely, and, yeah. Uh, so let's uh, let's right. go back a little bit mm -hmm. and talk about goals. You were saying that goals need to be value based and so on. That's right. Uh, why why is it recommended that persons write down their goals? Yeah, from, because know, it does something in terms of our mind, how our mm -hmm. minds work. Mm -hmm. It makes a connection with our minds, and then we start to um, take on our goals in terms of becoming our goals. Mm -hmm. um, you know, to say a uh, uh, goal not written down right. is just a dream. You right. know, it's just a wish. So think about it when you were in school, when you had to write down your notes. For mm -hmm. some people, they remember better when they're studying and right. they write down their notes. Right. Right. It's the same approach with your goals when you write it down. So what was the deadline? You're definitely, you know, we talk about smart goals, yeah? So your goals should be specific so you know when you arrive mm -hmm. and it should have a deadline. So I want to save X amount of money by April because right. you want to travel probably right. right. mid-year. Or I want to get, not just I want to lose weight. So mm -hmm. I want to lose five pounds by, mm -hmm. yeah? Right. Mm -hmm. And what may be a reward, so I'm going to fit into that dress that I have hanging <laughs> in my bedroom by the curtain rod. <laughs> For the last six months, I yes. haven't been able to get into it. Yeah. So that's going to be my reward. Right. So I'll keep that dress hanging up right. there for that yeah. three months, and six not, months. And not make the reward a cheat day of eating whatever you want. But it instead. could be a cheat day <laughs> because we should reward ourselves along right. the way. Right. You know, research tells us that when we reward ourselves, you know, it's like classical conditioning. Mm -hmm. When we reward ourselves, we will continue that behavior and mm. repeat that behavior. But if you're on a diet, I don't think cheesecake is the best. <laughs> <laughs> yeah? Yeah. I don't think stuffing my hag and ass is the best. Yeah. Food. So let's get started now on vision board. Right. Okay. So I was so looking. You gave me some homework. Yes. Lisa. <laughs> so last night I was up looking at what do I want to do for this year? Because I confess that mm -hmm. I'm still defining my goals. Mm -hmm. um, one I have written down thus far is building relationships. Right. Yeah? Okay. So whether it will be your personal relationships at home, for me, it's personal and it's work relationships. Right. So I'm going to dig deeper and build relationships. So we could put that on our board as okay. we go ahead. So do you put it anywhere? Anywhere your vision board is yours, you get to do whatever you want to do with okay. it. Okay, so there's yeah. no fixed pattern no or anything. No fixed pattern. <laughs> yeah? Okay. So you could put that up there. And you and what you do, you can, this was created digitally, right? So you just... Yes, so I went online and right. I looked for up some phrases... Middle 
and that's okay so great. you can yeah. cut and paste accordingly right okay and you may even have pictures <coughs> you can take a picture with your phone of whatever it is mm -hmm. and you could print it and stick it so this is one this is a saying that i always loved and i have it on my phone actually right and my profile mm -hmm. so this says there's something in you the world needs right and it reminds me that we shouldn't be comparing ourselves with others okay. we shouldn't compare our journey with others right because what we have is a special gift. So and your vision board, so your your vision board doesn't just have to be about uh, academic goals or economic goals. Or so it's no. also personal. Personal goals, okay. um, mm -hmm. particularly because it's your personal goals in developing yourself mm -hmm. that will help you achieve those academic goals and those career goals. So okay. actually, it should always have your personal goals. Right. So mm -hmm. one of my key words again, yes. focus this okay. year. Yes. So every year I choose one word. Right. And this year might choose more than one, might choose two or three. Right. But one of my key words mm -hmm. um, before the year started was focus. Right. You know, focus. When I have my goal, focus. You know, mm -hmm. um, whether I'm developing a program, whatever I'm doing, I keep asking myself, Charlene, what you're doing now is that taking you closer to your goal? Mm -hmm, you mm -hmm. know, you know. Thank goodness for the app. I could look and see how many, you know, how long I am on the phone. Right. How long I'm on WhatsApp. Right. How long I'm on ah, LinkedIn. Okay. So now I, I have a timer. Right. That reminds me I have five more minutes or my time is up. That's right. a good idea. Yeah. yeah. Because I sometimes I would be on my social media yeah. doing my social media. And two hours, three yes. hours, and you're thinking, oh my gosh, where did the time pass? <laughs> I like the idea of the timer. Yeah. So that's I like a this one. Thing. I like this one a lot. It, it resonates with me a lot. No one is you, and that is your power. Right. So that's another yeah. one of my powerful sayings that I keep with me. Mm -hmm. Again, reminding ourselves that we are unique in what we have to offer. Right. And, sir, no one does it the way you do in terms of morning show. No right. one does it the way you do. So it reminds us to stop comparing ourselves, mm -hmm. to mm -hmm. recognize that we have a goal, a gift to share with the world. And it reminds us, too, that uh, stop playing small. Mm -hmm. right. uh, stop uh, saying not yet. You'll do it some other time because there's somebody waiting on your gift. There's right. somebody right. to impact. And whatever you do when you start the morning show, you know, now morning, there's somebody waiting on you right. to yeah. perk up their morning. So we must always remember that we have something special in us yeah. and don't put that off. It's right. not about us, really. If we're here to serve, we'll remember yes. that our gift is to use our gift to serve others. But right. I notice a lot of the, so far, we've been focused on the mind and developing the mind with regard to the, I really thought that the vision board was, I was, you know, I, I'm, I love this because you're fixing yourself first before you can actually go out there and get the yes. tangible things, yes. right? Because it starts with your <laughs> mindset. No matter what we want to achieve, whatever decision we have to make, it yeah. always starts with our mindset. Yeah. So we want to make sure that we have the perfect, and not necessarily perfect, but the right mindset. Mm -hmm. um, what um, Carol Dweck will call the growth mindset, recognizing that we have potential, that we can, by our habits, by our efforts, that we can do better, that yes. we can be better. Yes. So it always starts with our mindset. Okay. It's a mistake if we start with the body first, with right. the money first. Yeah, it's because our mindset. Because oh, okay. <laughs> traditionally, that's what you think it's everyone will go to. You know, I want to lose yeah. 10 pounds. Yeah, so you yeah, put up mindset. Gym, that's what yeah. I was yeah. going to put up a mindset picture. Mindset you know? first. The yeah. mindset takes us okay. where we want to go. Right. right. Yeah? It makes sense. So as we talk about body, mm -hmm. so many of us may have, you know, <laughs> the goal <laughs> of getting a few inches off the waist. Not carry. He has his off already. He's all set up. So when I tell people, oh, I have to start back my exercise, you know, a little mm -hmm. more consistent because it's consistency mm -hmm. is the key. Mm -hmm. right. You know, um, just say, but Charlene, what do you have to lose? I mean, look at you, you're thin. Yeah, I agree. And I was like, please don't judge. You know? <laughs> <laughs> so I have been thin all my life, but when the waistline cannot fit in the dresses <laughs> and the pants, you recognize. Charlene, we, we don't like people you like know, you. I, I know that, darling. This pumpkin dumpling <laughs> in the corner here, we don't like people like you. Where, where I'm putting this? Anywhere put you want. In. Okay, yeah. So one of yes. my goals is to be consistent yeah. with my exercise. I yeah. started walking around the savannah, yes. going up to the track and station down Shag. Mm -hmm. So to be consistent every weekend for me. Okay, so yeah. I'm going to, as we speed along here, I'm going to sure. put up some more of these so we can see as you talk us through yes. it. So we can see what a vision board would look like in the end. Carrie, mm -hmm. because um, Carrie was saying earlier that 
This would have been new for him and for those of you looking yes. on. Yes, and this. Oh, so I this like is this. The travel now. I love so some this. of us have travel on our <laughs> list. Yeah, I love so this. So that's this year. Mm -hmm. I am heading to the Philippines and Bali. Right. So I'm making sure that I put that up there because guess what? We need to, as, as my daughters will say, yeah. we need to, to be stacking the money. Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. So, so, so you're seeing it. You're mm -hmm. saying I am heading. That's right. You're speaking it into action That's even right. before you know if it's going to happen That's or not. Right. And this happened to me last year. Yeah. I remember in 2020. Yeah. You said when I came on your show. Yeah. The day before you called me, I said, wait. I think I was an Arthur Lux Jock um, yeah. woman in leadership session. Yeah. And I had an yeah. article in the papers. And I said, but Charlene, you need to get on TV. And I said that. And would you believe, Lisa, you called me wow. the day after. See the power of the spoken yeah. word. You know? And a vision. In. All right. So we're going to put this up here. And Carrie, just help yeah. me with one more as right. we bring this to a close. So we'll have a full. Right. So it's starting board. to take shape. Mm -hmm. This one says faith. Mm -hmm. we're here and right we'll and that's one of my favorite scriptures yes now faith is the substance of things hoped for mm -hmm. the evidence of things unseen okay. so we don't have to see it yes. to believe it yes so yeah. i see that from what we're looking at here you have the personal in terms of the mind the body the spirit the travel the, and it can be anything really anything your vision board it's yours yes Thanks and the thing about it yes. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, I like that. So I'm going to go ho head home and create my vision board right now. I don't know about you, Carrie, if you're going to jump into this exercise. I don't know about you at home, but certainly, thank you so Excellent much. It's exercise. a great way to start the new year. Excellent. Charlene, Pedro, corporate trainer, as well as HR consultant. Yes, thank you so much for coming and it's sharing this with pleasure. us. It's been a pleasure. Thank you. Oh, happy new year. Yeah, wonderful it's been to a you. Pleasure. Thank yeah. you. Right. We're going to take in a few messages and come right back in studio because we're going to learn about Ramage and Dingoli. Not just what Shadow sang about, but why they're <laughs> up in the stars. We're taking a few messages back after this.